I want to bring in political scientist and historian Margarita Lopez Maya. She joins me now from Caracas. Thank you very much for being with us. So the big question is, uh, Margarita, if you could look into the camera as well, uh, we're on the air now. Is this a pivotal moment for Venezuela or could this just be a blip, a come and go situation as we've seen in the past? What do you think? Well, it Well, I think it is a delicate and complex moment, yes. Um, but this is not the first time that we have been into one of these. I mean, Venezuela has been having a very rocky history in the 21st century. And this is one episode more in, that, in our difficulties. Mm -hmm. Now, the government, of course, uh, is in charge. And there are real legitimate grievances in the country against it. Uh, we were talking about 56% inflation. Uh, surging crime. I mean, how much longer can the government essentially shield itself from this anger in the streets? Well, yes, I mean, the government is uh, we're having a very bad economy. And there's a lot of motifs for discontent in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. What the government doesn't seem to understand is that it has to open channels right. in order to drain this discontent and to talk, to look for some kinds of uh, solutions with, with part of the population that opposes him. Venezuela is a very polarized society. It is divided based almost at the same measure between people that support the government and people that are, are against him. And the government refuses to talk to the politicians that represent these people. He refuses to talk in the National Assembly, where, it, where they are the representatives of both forces. And it refuses any kind of dialogue repeatedly. Leopoldo Lopez uh, did not appear uh, after having been at the forefront of some of these demonstrations. And he sent us, in fact, as we uh, broadcast on the program to our viewers an audio response to some of our questions. He's in hiding, essentially. Is he right to be concerned that he's going to be arrested, essentially thrown in jail, uh, because he's the head of the opposition? Should he be concerned? Yes. Yes, I do think so. I think they have been treading him that he will go to jail. They have been accusing him of uh, plotting against the government and trying to promote a coup d'etat, as in 2002, mm -hmm. the coup d'etat against Hugo Chavez. But the, the, what is certain at this moment is that the student movement is the leader of the protest in the right. streets. And they are protesting against one of the main issues of Venezuela society, which is the insecurity. And, uh, uh, we have one of the highest indexes of uh, homicides in the planet. We uh, have practically uh, no, uh, no, no justice in the tribunals. We have, we have uh, our jails are packed with, uh, with people that do not, go, that, they, that they live yeah. in, in very unhuman conditions. And the government is, will, has no will to open the spaces of the state in order to try to alleviate all these hardships that the people are suffering. Because of this situation, the students are in the streets, and they not only with their demands, with, but most of civil society also has come to the streets behind the student movement to express their, uh, their hardships, to express their demands mm -hmm. for a solution to all these acute economic, social, and political issues. And there's a big unknown here, which is the fact that the president is not Hugo Chavez anymore. Uh, you know, love him or hate him, Hugo Chavez uh, unified his side, uh, very charismatic, uh, big personality. Nicolas Maduro is another man. Uh, is he going to have the same kind of ability uh, to rally his troops in order to keep allegiance for his side, do you think? Well, yes, that is very true. I mean, Hugo, uh, 
Nicolás Maduro is not Hugo Chávez, and that is one of the big problems that he has. Um, what we are seeing in the streets is, one, is, is the protest of the society against all the problems that we are suffering. But what we are not seeing are the conflicts inside Chavismo. We are not seeing it, among other things, because the, almost all the channels of, of TV and radio aren't controlled by the government. But of course, uh, part, part of the game that is going on is a battle inside Chavismo for leadership. Uh -huh. And Maduro is a very is, is a weak leader. He probably is right now the best solution that they have, but nevertheless, he has no charisma. Um, he doesn't yeah. know how to talk. He's, his discourse is contra it's incoherent, it's contradictory. And of course, he is, I think he is being pressured to radicalize mm -hmm. as, as the development of the conflict is going on. And this is, going to, this is going to be very bad for Venezuelan society because it seems that he is not in control of the most radical groups in his, in his alliance. And they are obliging him to radicalize and to not open uh, spaces for, co for political conversation and negotiation. The U.S. State Department has just reacted to those allegations coming from the government in Caracas that it's helping to organize the opposition. It is saying the uh, notion that uh, we are helping to organize protesters in Venezuela is baseless and false. H how well does that play at home, the, the government's accusations that these are outside forces organizing the protests? There's also an accusation that the president of Colombia is helping stoke the protests against Maduro and his government. Well, that is nothing new. The government always blames the imperialism and the, the, the rights and fascism, of international fascism, of all the problems that we have. But I think the Venezuelans have a lot of motives to go to the streets today. And they will keep, keep on going to the streets if the government doesn't open the spaces for dialogue. I, I, I'm very concerned about this. The, the answer of the government has been repression, has been accusations, has been a, a violent discourse with a twist, talking about peace and love, but it's, it's, it's a very incoherent discourse. It shows that the government probably doesn't have his act together uh, among the different groups that are trying to, to lead the, the Chavismo without Chavez. And on, and, and on the other side, uh, as, the, the, as, as the protest develops in the streets, I am also concerned that the most radical groups of uh, social and political groups will take the lead because then we're going to we are going further to a, den, a dead end and more violence and repression. Margarita Lopez Maya joining me from Caracas with your view on what's going on these important events in your country. Thanks very much for being with us on the program. And a footnote, we did reach out to, to offer the Venezuelan government a place on the program, and they chose not to appear.